Hi, my name is Katrine Baird. If you are new to this channel and I am a licensed makeup artist and my goal today is not only to help you make the right decisions makeup wise but also to give you the tools to kind of think for yourself and possibly be able to answer your own questions in the future without having to ask for help. So I hope you enjoy! Bye! So this video is going to be on eyebrows and a lot of you have asked me if I do them myself or if I go and have them done in a salon and I do them 100% myself. I have been experimenting with my eyebrows since I was about like 12 years old. I... Okay, story time. When I was about 12 or 13, I thought that my eyebrows were too... I don't know, thick or dark. So I thought that if I take a razor and kind of like thin it out a little bit on top, it will be less visible because I don't like eyebrows for some reason. Well, I kind of cut my... I chopped it off in the middle. So that I do not recommend for you guys. Um, but it grew back, so that's good. Um, I did something... The, the important thing when you try to shape your eyebrows is to know what an eyebrow is supposed to look like. This is the classic eyebrow. It's not the eyebrow that... I mean, this is for correctional beauty makeup. And this is what an eyebrow is supposed to look like. Like, it, it has nothing to do with style and it has nothing to do with anything like that. So if you want your eyebrows to go up here, that's up to you. Just you. And it's not up to anyone else. You do your eyebrows the way you do your eyebrows. But the thing is, this is the shape that most people use and this is a shape that kind of looks good on most people. And this is how I do my eyebrows. So if I would clean off all my makeup on my eyebrows, they would not look like this at all. They are, well, at all, it's an exaggeration, they are kind of like this. <laughs> but um, I try to shape them. The most important thing is, well, the bottom line and to clear out. That's where most of the stray hair, hairs grow. Uh, and the, you just... It's so difficult to explain because I have just learned by like every time I kind of tweeze my eyebrows, I I just look and I think that this is what I'm after and how can I do this and uh, eyebrows are not supposed to end here and eyebrows are not supposed to end in the middle here and that's something that would be good for a couple of people to know <laughs> and uh, they're not supposed to end down here or up here either supposed to again if you want a certain style you go for that style and you just don't care about what I'm saying right now but the thing is that you it's kind of the frame for your face and if your eyebrows are crazy then it kind of it kind of makes everything else look kind of me it doesn't matter if you have the perfect makeup if your eyebrows are crazy it will not look good so yeah I just what do I do? I don't know. I follow this this guide that the it should start by your tear duct. And the thing is, if you have a wide nose, well, kind of like I do, uh, they they can afford to start a little bit more closer together to make it kind of slimmer. And if you have a really s slim nose, you can make them a little bit like further apart, but not a lot, just a little. And the arch. It kind of, this is not something that's super duper important, like the arch can be kind of where you want and it can be sharp and it can, or it can be round, but it should usually be... It's difficult now because I have to look at myself and look straight ahead, but kind of at the end of your iris, which mine are not, but I don't really... <laughs> if I do that, then they're at the end. <laughs> But yeah, the arch, I feel personally, is kind of like, come on, I think that as long as the beginning and the ends are kind of where they should be, the arch can afford to be a couple of millimeters off, whatever. And I, as you can see, mine are not identical. I mean, they're not supposed to be twins. 
They're supposed to be really close sisters. I think that was Pixie Wu who said that on YouTube. I'm not sure, but kudos, because it's true. My eyebrows are different. They will always be different when I can only do so much to make them look similar. similar. Oh. To make them look similar. And the same goes for you, that you will have to kind of see what works for you. I also got a question about how to make eyebrows look less fake because I know a lot of people walk around with these kind of like stickers on their eyebrows like it looks <laughs> not so natural and if you want them to look more natural the thing that's causing you problems is that sharp edges they do not look natural if you take a pen and you kind of draw them in really harsh and you don't blend anything or you just leave them, that will not look natural. However, it's a look. If someone wants sharp, really defined brows, that's a look and people, it's okay to want that look. This is about natural look for eyebrows. You have to be really careful with the amount of product you use. You do not want to like put a lot, a lot, a lot of product on there because then the hairs will kind of disappear and they will look like stickers. So be careful with the product. Choose a color that's more or less your, well, a couple of shades darker than your hair, I guess. <laughs> um, and always be kind of apply more and more instead of putting on a lot at once and then you'll have to deal with how to, like combing out the product a lot and that just is a mess and it's unnecessary so just go slow and apply and apply and apply and i always use use uh, an angled brush to apply it i use kind of a shadow and i very rarely use pens and uh, yeah so if you want to see me doing this in action, then head over to my full face tutorial that will be linked below but also at the end of this playlist.